Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Jaspers and I'm a cardist from Singapore. For the last 15 years of my life, I have been trying to become the best cardist in this universe. However, I have recently come to the realization that I have been looking for inspiration in the wrong places. Instead of looking at other cardists to find ideas for what the best cardistry in the world can look like, I should be looking at the magical world of TV. Kaishri actually appears on TV very very often. From time to time you'll see some brooding age lord character just grab a deck of cards and begin to execute some awesome cardistry. So I decided to look at what cardistry looks like on TV and perhaps I can find some inspiration for some awesome cardistry moves of the future. However, normally to find all of these like different sources of cardistry is gonna be a little bit difficult, a little bit tricky. Thankfully, there's this really awesome Instagram account called Cardistry cameos in which they look to showcase the amazing cardistry appearances in pop culture So today we're gonna to be reacting to that and perhaps drawing some inspiration from pop culture All right, so without further ado, let's get down to reacting and also learning from pop culture cardistry. Let's go What holy shit did you see that? Gambit is an insane cardist. Look at that Just look at that he is literally somehow moving the middle packet. If you imagine the packet in your, in his hands, as the, the deck in his hands as three. I can't even talk right now. That's how amazed I am. He is somehow pushing the middle packet out using the only invisible finger, which would be the thumb, straight up somehow. That's insane. I'm actually impressed. No thumb action here. Normally, if on a scissor cut, you would need the thumb to be right here. But Gambit don't need no thumb. He's doing scissor cut like it's nothing, fam. Some of the moves that appear in this video, in, in Gambit doing his one-handed cuts, they are insane. Okay, so next up. Ah, this is the video that Matt Fox did in collaboration Say with IBM. Arms. Yes, as one it queen. features here. Three this video, now even though... Them. The cardistry is not like um, the, queen. the freshest, the most like unimaginable cardistry. Right. But the way they this shot it made cardistry look think. so sexy. Quantum Peak beautiful cardistry filmed absolutely professionally. I love the way cardistry is presented in this video. Good job, Matt Fox, and shouts to IBM. Uh, I don't use your products, but <laughs> all right. Next up, we have an anime. Okay, the riffle shuffle looks fine. Um, not bad. Okay. Ooh, a spring shuffle, nice. Wow, and they also managed to edit to make the, the spring shuffle look a little bit messier on the bottom of the... Like, look at this. This is a legitimate animation of what spring shuffle would look like. Good job, animators. Oh, oh, oh no, oh, I felt that one. Alright, next up we have Shaggy from Scooby-Doo doing, th th this appears in so many um, animations, the idea of like shuffling a, a sandwich together. This method of shuffling the sandwiches together, however, is 100% legitimate. That's a table pharaoh um, modified to look, to, to, to fit much bigger things. 100% that's just a table pharaoh. Next up we have this one. What? Wow, that's some that's some attention to detail. I see myself as a connoisseur of springs. Pay attention to how the cards over here are bent the correct direction for a spring. However, the cards coming out like this one right here is actually in the wrong direction. But when we go to the next frame, uh, the next card it's much flatter. That is actually how springs work in good springs. Like when you do a spring that is good, the cut should wobble a bit as it comes out like this. It should wobble. Whoop, 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 whoop. Good stuff. There's some good animation. All right, next up. And one again. Those one-handed cut shots are real clean. Oh. <laughs> that's awesome that, that that was that was really awesome nice 
Next up, we have... Okay, spring looks legitimate. Uh, the thumb needs to be at the bottom to catch the spring. You know, the idea of springing from the right hand to the left hand and then from the left hand back to the right hand is something that appears so commonly in cartoons. But in real life, I have never actually seen anybody be able to do that. Maybe on our next training session, I'm gonna learn how to do a spring from the left hand. Pretty cool idea. Next up. Oh, th yes, this is the Joker scene from uh, the, the, the scene from the Joker movie. Oh, wow. Did you see that card shot? That was nice. Great arc, around the world, perfectly fluent. Jack Nicholson is a is a cutist at this rate. Let's see that cut shot again. Okay, that, that one's out of frame. Ah, he's using his other hand to flick it up. Nice, nice, nice. That was a that's a great cut shot. Okay, this is from the Hunchback of Notre Dame. Perfectly doable, very pretty. Looks good on screen. The way they animated this packet being tossed. It looks really good actually, I, I like it. Wow, look at that. Did, did you see that? That's amazing. Also notice the detail of like one card being slightly angled here. The distance between cards not perfectly like equal. That attention to detail, I like it a lot. And the reason why that card had to be misaligned is so that this card can get shot out. Did they really put that much attention into the details of the physics of the card history? Because if that's the case, holy crap, that's that's awesome. Hardly a cut. Yeah, sure, yeah, you learned it fast. Is yeah. there a person? Yep, there Charlie you go. Yeah. Ooh, 100% yep. accurate it's Charlie not, Cut. Marquez, no, damn. I learned. Oh, wow. I, that was so fast, I actually couldn't see what move he was doing. Let's see that one more time. Okay, cuts. Oh, fake false cuts. Holy crap. I didn't realize it was a false cut. Okay, so that was two thumb cuts, I believe. Damn, that's pretty amazing, actually. The, the idea of doing Hindu shuffle that fast, that's amazing. Next one. The cut spring looks decent. It looks like the correct grip for cut spring. Uh, this part seems a little bit difficult to do. Uh, I haven't learned how to do this move yet. The Monopoly man. Okay. The physics behind that card spring actually looks pretty good. The grip is wrong, but the physics look really good. Just to warn you ahead of time, my specialty is way too close up magic. Pick a card. I, I can't see. <laughs> Don't tell me. I've, I've never seen this clip before. Can you do something else? Well, let's just say goodbye to these cards. <laughs> Oh! I have been the great Sebastian, and I bid you good day. <laughs> Yo, the the Moon Knight actor Moon does Kalishri too. Or a lot of gold. Nice table spread, Alex perfectly Alex adequate Alex table spread. Ooh, that's nice. Now, the nice turnover as well. The one card shot, classic, classic. Everybody Point loves 12. that one card shot for some reason. All right, next up is a DJI action camera video. Ooh, that was a good cut change. That spring was not good though. Okay, cut change, nice cut change. The spring was, nah, nah fam, nah. All right, next up we have anime, nice. Maho Senso. Ooh, wow, the grip of the spring was good. Oh, wow, the grip of the cut spread was good too. Nice. That, that was A star. The grips were all exactly correct. Alright, next up we have. Okay. Wow, that was an ultra wide angle shot. Ooh, nice card spring. Nice one card dwells. Nice Charlie card. Whoever did this was amazing. Oh, it's amazing. Next up. Cut spring. <laughs> who, who, are, who are the guys on the, the X-Men animation team that, that keep adding weird cardistry in? That grip, the grip of starting at this position then using a thumb to slide. Let, let me try it. I'll try this. Slide a packet out using your thumb like this. 
and using your pinky and ring finger to sort of get it up and over that move is so weird what a weird cardistry move what an uncomfortable cardistry move oh oscar isaac is doing more cardistry backdrop i heard he was working in cairo nice perfect nice okay more cardistry in anime okay that's that's whack do you guys spot the the mistake i'll let you guys see it one more time did you see it there's a mistake right now correct when you do a hindu shuffle the bottom card of the top packet actually does not change if your bottom card is changing you're actually doing a false shuffle like this watch this so clubs 10 of diamonds five of diamonds but the the deck is actually not being shuffled when you do it like this all right next up james bond nice nice refill shuffle i don't know why i'm always very amazed when people do cardistry nicely in movies all right next up would you like to help me with a trick sure jim carrey now he done it Is this really Jim Carrey? <laughs> he looks so weird from below. <laughs> Alright, the Shalia card actually looks real. So this is probably a, a, an actual magician or cardist. But this right here, the fans. Yep, I 100% believe this is Jim Carrey because these fans look horrible. Alright, next up another one from Cowboy Bebop. Whoa! Did you see that? The direction the cards are held in is the reverse of our normal direction of a card spring also this two finger on top two two finger curled up thing it's not very common but i can imagine someone actually putting in the effort and working on it in fact <laughs> your online brother is an idiot at one point i was wondering whether it would be cool to be able to do a spring with one finger so i actually trained myself to do <laughs> Card springs with one finger in the past. Ah, uh, so dumb. Ace of spades, ace of clubs. Shuffle together. Bottom card, ace of diamonds. Hmm. Look, I'm not saying that Mickey Mouse is a hustler, but he's definitely not playing by the same rules we are. Oh, twisted fate, yes. Ooh, ooh, one card toss, two card toss, three card toss. Beautiful. I want to learn that. I actually do want to learn that. Good job. All right. Next up, we have this holiday, Santa Claus. Oh gift? no! This poor cardist. The person filming the advertisement doesn't understand how difficult it is to do cardistry with gloves. How much friction is required to do a good dribble. So <laughs> they, they just gave him gloves and expected him to be able to do cardistry with gloves on. I hope they didn't just like tell him on the day itself. Oh, by the way, can you do country with gloves? Because, oh man, that's that's rough. Solidate. Even though this dribble isn't a very good dribble, but shout out to this guy because you made something that couldn't work look acceptable. This good job. Weather tech gift card. Next up. Ooh, that's a nice spring. I can't even tell if it's... Makes everything else seem slow. Oh, look at this grip. It's the two finger grip again. Whoever this is that did the move does it slightly different with their fingers curled all the way to the bottom. That's actually pretty difficult. I wonder if this is a real spring or not. Because theoretically speaking, it's possible to do a spring that looks like this. However, the distance between cards actually looks a little bit on the wrong side. It, do it doesn't look like you should have cards coming out this much i can't tell guys i can't tell if this is cgi cards or real card spring like this shot looks so good the way the cards bend the, the, the way the card bounces back and forth like this that looks so real if if that's a real spring that's a really nice spring all right one last one this is the best cardistry sequence i have ever seen i actually saw this in theaters Watch this in theaters and oh my gosh, I lost my mind. Check this out. I actually want to do the cardistry from this 
if possible. Spring, perfectly fine, acceptable. Hard spread, nice but not perfect. Look at that! Do you see that shit? Look at that. Look at how wide that spring is. Holy crap. I want to be able to do springs like that too. Look at how... Look at this grip on the other hand. He's not even worried about dropping cards. That's how sick this man is. And... And the fact that they actually animated the card so that the spring is like not perfectly even. Oh my gosh. So good. And look at this in his hand. The cards are actually going downwards over here and then upwards towards his other hand and then sliding themselves under the thumb. Do you see that? That's insane. Absolutely insane stuff. <laughs> Slightly amused. Beautiful. And then here comes another move that is theoretically possible. Bop, 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 bop. Imagine that. Imagine being able to do that. It's, th it's a theoretically possible move. All you have to do, show out the cards faster than the cards can drop down from gravity. And um, yeah, just just do it. Of course, the, the second part where the cards are like slowly drifting towards the middle, maybe that's a little bit exaggerated, exaggerated but... Mm, damn, that's so sick. Okay, perfectly possible card tree moves. Very good, very good. Look at that, yo. Whoa, whoa. The yo is shuffling itself. The yo is shuffling itself, guys. <laughs> what the fuck is... What is going on? Two-headed spring. The cards are not only being sprung, they're, getting, they, they're rotating in mid-air. They get sprung, and then they become like helicopter cards just rotating in mid-air, and then landing in a perfectly squared pile. What the fuck is going on? And then, I remember this, they touch hands. Alright guys, so there you have it. That was my reaction to some of TV's country. Um, the country in TV is so insane sometimes. It's, it's just like, I don't know who came up with it or what they were smoking, but mm, so good. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that subscribe button because I'll be checking out more cardistry videos in the future. But until next time guys, take care of yourselves. I'm Jasper, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye bye.